Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Tuesday, December 28th, 2021 reading. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. Our mission here is to allow you to manifest through clearing your mind, focusing on what your desire is, and only staying focused on the goal, letting go of all the extraneous stuff and all the past, starting from this day, putting one foot in front of the other, and moving forward. If you just take one step, each day in the right direction, you will reach your goal. So remember that and know that everyone has setbacks. It's what you do after the setback. Do you get up? Do you dust yourself off? Absolutely. And that's what we do. That's why I'm here. This is how I made it to where I am, why I'm still alive today. Because sometimes setbacks can be very devastating, but you can survive anything as long as you don't quit. So in our continued mood of relentless optimism that is my charge in life to be relentlessly optimistic and the law of attraction the law of divine compensation and the power to manifest your divine perfect life whatever it is you are meant to be aligned with in this life you can put yourself in that position as long as you can stay focused and not let yourself be distracted so that's what this reading is all about remember if you'd like to have a personal reading you can always visit royalmystic.com where I'll you'll see all the different uh, services I offer and my podcast cast link is there too. I'm I'm really charging that up because we're about to begin the uh, first episode of the new year. So if you haven't listened, you have five episodes from this this year that are now available and uh, it's doing pretty good. So I, I thank you all who have tuned in. And if you haven't, I I know that you will if it, if you're drawn to it. So we'll just keep moving and allow the energy. Here we go. The Emperor and the Hermit. So the Emperor is the manifestation energy, something fully realized and actualized, something actively ready to happen. The Emperor is the energy of the Aries Major Arcana as well, and it's the energy of strength of the universe in the masculine. So something that has taken form or is taking form as we speak. So universe has your back here. Then we have the Hermit, and the Hermit is the energy of the Virgo Major Arcana, and, and I think it's really interesting that the person who did the artwork on this made it look like a, a window with a mirror in it or some reflective energy. This is really what that Hermit energy is about, is about going within, finding your truth, and building on that, allowing yourself to actually... Uh, Release what isn't your true essence and build the outside through your inner beliefs because that is the absolute truth of all existence is what you believe is the foundation for what you see in front of you. So it doesn't mean that the bad things that are happening are because you believe they should happen, although that might be a thing. It means they're happening because you haven't understood your power to release them and and move past them so um, things all happen we just have to be able to shift and move to create a better uh, frequency for ourselves as we move forward remember thoughts can be changed your mind can be changed your perspective can be changed and that means your outer experience can be changed so with that let's go into the energy Thank you, angels, archangel, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, four of wands, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone, all sun, moon and rising signs to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy thank you so much divine you're always welcome and very appreciated so that four of rods is the energy of stability building a foundation a platform having a place to anchor so that's a secure energy that four of rods that's the energy of being very much in that stability and, and in the place of communication and having a solid uh, surrounding energy. So that Virgo energy is reminding you to reset 
your kind of fortify. That's the energy that, that we're looking for. Fortify yourself with the things that help anchor you. And your beliefs are part of that. We have strength. Strength is the energy of the Leo Major Arcana. It's also the energy of Archangel Uriel. Um, this little image here, this deck is a little more modern, uh, a little more modern energy. So um, the old school stuff usually reflects a uh, lion walking with a maiden. And that lion is the driving energy to help you stay on your path. So you are being assisted with Archangel Ariel to receive and achieve your goal. So whatever your destination is. Not to be confused with the journey. Because the journey is part of the experience. And we also have to remember... We can't um, control every aspect. So the journey is a natural process of the destination. Allow yourself to be open to what shows up. Opportunity is one of the things that show up. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. This is one of those things that will, if somebody asked you that, you'd say, yes, oh yes, I'm always, but are we? <laughs> I, I ask myself this because sometimes an opportunity will show up and it seems inconvenient. It's going to take me time. It's going to cause me to stop and have to rework something. Um, so uh, that's one of the signs you have to watch out for because uh, saying yes to the opportunity is the easy part. <laughs> it's implementing it, right? So even me, I, I started all this. I had to learn how to do it as I was doing it because I, I'm one of those people, hands-on. I need to actually be in the motions of doing it. So allow yourself to, to, to catch yourself if you're, if you're holding yourself back because it might be a little inconvenient or you feel like it might be. Sometimes we feel like it is and it's not. So I'm just, somebody, somebody needed to hear that. And there it is. And respect. Respect is very important because if you don't understand your value, then everyone else's value is thrown off in the, in the skew of that, right? The mean. If, so it starts with you. And you have to be able to manifest love. I can manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself. So value to yourself allows you to have that love and respect from other people. So that means you honor yourself. You do things that are beneficial for you. Not because someone else needs you to do it. If it's not something that's beneficial for you, you should probably let that pass. Unless it's something that, you you know, it's out of duty and, and you know, something family-oriented to assist someone. That's different. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... Honoring yourself enough to know that you deserve to, to have your time, your me time, your, your build up time, your restore time. Give yourself that. Don't pinch off those time periods to give to someone else because they are wanting you to go to a movie or, you know, trying to, they, they think they're trying to get you out of your cocoon however sometimes we need to be in the cocoon because the butterfly can't be a butterfly without the cocoon so stay in your your best interest that's all here we go improving health this is wonderful energy we love to hear that i send that out to the entire universe everyone who's being affected by all this craziness and even not the craziness anyone who has a health issue sending out positive energy through myself and all of our little network, my little vibe tribe, we, we do this all the time. Sending love and light, healing and blessings to all. And that is a beautiful energy. And here we go. With our activations. Oh, well, haven't we seen that before? <laughs> this is where you just can't, uh, can't make it up, folks. Here it is. The Merkaba, Merkaba, the frequency of Merkaba or Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. 
It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Honor this if you can't honor anything else. Honor your ability to use your consciousness to move through other layers of reality and dimensions to assist you in accessing your Kashic record. Realize you are a vessel of dynamic and beautiful sacred energy. If you can do that, that's all the respect you can ever want to hold is to know that you and all others here are part of this, are part of this collective source. We are all moving in action. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. So just a little little inside energy for you on this. Every time I get this, I flinch a little. I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to think about my age. <laughs> so when you do that, when you have a visceral reaction uh, to a card or a, a statement that someone says, remember, that's your reaction. There's a reason something in my head or something in my subconscious or someone, something someone else has said has embedded. And it's like somebody touches a splinter on your skin. You're like, oh, right? Ooh, that hurt a little. Ooh, what's it? What's that? Something's in me. Remember that when you feel that little tinge, wait a minute, I need to go pull that splinter out. There's a thorn that has rooted itself. I am at peace with my age. <laughs> I don't think, I don't know that that's a true statement for me. Um, I am at peace with my age because I feel like I've lived through the hardest part. Um, but, um, you know, we don't, any of us like looking our age, right? <laughs> I might be at peace with my age, but invest in good beauty products, moisturizer. Yeah. So each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. I am at peace with my age. And I am. I, I don't mind saying the number. I don't mind being 55. I just... Um, I still have so much to do. I'm not ready to be at, at, at the top end. So that's what I keep saying. I am I'm as young as I feel. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want and I claim my power. That's part of the self-respect. I love and approve of myself. Manifesting love and respect, being approving and loving of yourself. That's the hand-in-hand -hand energy. I appreciate all that I do. I am good enough just as I am. I speak up for myself. I ask for what I want. I claim my power. I love and approve of myself. And if the answer to that is, I don't love and approve of myself for you, figure out why. What is it that you're not forgiving yourself for? There's something that you feel is unlovable because of a certain thing, right? Find that, extract that thorn, and allow yourself to heal so that you can move forward. And here's the strength card. So it's telling you you have the ability to do all these things. There is the Seven of Pentacles, which is... The fruit is on the vine. This is the hard work that you've put in. Now is manifesting, bearing fruit. It's not time for harvest quite yet, but it's on the way because the fruit is there and it will continue to ripen on the vine. So you're doing all the right things. The world card. This is the energy of a new beginning, which we're on the cusp of in the annual calendar, but there's no new year within your spirit. It's always available for you to make this ascension energy. This is the Genesis pattern. This is a new thing coming into existence. And it's like, it looks like a molecule, doesn't it? The old school definition we used to see in the science books, right? So that is the flower of life. 
And it is the energy of new growth and new birth and new beginnings. And it's a victory energy being lifted up into a higher position. And last but not least, we have the Nine of Cups, which is a glorious energy of your heart's desire being granted. Feeling that whole heart fully satisfied in your heart with whatever this is. This is a yes from the universe for your heart to have the full experience of absolutely getting what you want within your heart. Whatever you've just been resonating on, being fully active in that yes energy. Remember, you claim your power. This is all power. It's all coming to be. So, if you realize who you truly are, and that is an angelic energy, a beautiful spiritual force that's within this living physical world, you will never underestimate your ability to achieve whatever it is that you want in this life because all is possible and you already have everything you need. You just have to make sure that you understand you must take the step. You must believe in yourself. Quitting is not an option. You will succeed. That's, that's the real simple check all those boxes and you will be in victory. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful day. Namaste, my friends.